fringe width it is a separation between neighboring bright fringes or neighboring dark fringes dark fringes separation bright fringes separation fringe width so it's represented by beta here the source is s1 this is source s2 this is the distance of separation now this diagram we already discussed in the previous section condition for bright fringe at p we have the equation for path difference s1 p is one path s2 p is another path so path difference is equal to s2 p minus s1 p path difference is an integral multiple of lambda that is s2 p minus s1 p equal to n lambda we already proved that path difference is 2p minus s1 p equal to x d divided by capital D. Comparing these two equations, LHS of the equation is same. So we can compare RHS that is n lambda equal to x d by capital D. n lambda equal to x d by capital D. By rearranging this equation, we can write x equal to n lambda d divided by small d. This is a general equation. So for first order fringe, we can write x1 equal to instead of n, we can substitute 1, that is 1 lambda d by d or lambda d by d. Similarly, for second order fringe, n equal to 2, that is x2 equal to 2 lambda d by d, etc. For nth order fringe, xn equal to n lambda d divided by d. For n plus 1 to order fringe, xn plus 1 equal to n plus 1 lambda d divided by d. Fringe width beta equal to xn plus 1 minus xn. And continuous have bright fringe will cut distance of separation. Alangil, and dark fringe will cut distance of separation. Or xn plus 1 minus xn. That's why fringe width. Let us substitute the value of xn plus 1 here and xn here so beta equal to n plus 1 lambda d your by d minus n lambda d your by d or is an equation equation number split the term n lambda d by d plus 1 lambda d by d minus n lambda d by d. This n lambda d by d and the cancel is or beta equal to lambda d by d. Fringe width beta equal to lambda d by d. Okay. 